All right, I was at uh, Anchor Electronics uh, buying some parts for a project that I'm going to do. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and uh, the lady said, uh, oh, here, take this. <laughs> um, it's this uh, mystical black box. So we talked about black boxes in uh, engineering school, you know. You have a black box, there's an input and an output. This one is a, uh, this one was a three-port network. Uh, there's one... Uh, Call this port one and uh, port two, port three. So yeah, three port network. And we have to figure out what it does. It's got a big knob on the top, but nothing is labeled. It looks like it's an on off switch, one and one and zero switch. And uh, looks like there might be a, a uh, fuse there. So um, from the weight of it and the knobbiness of it, um, I'm assuming this is a basically a light dimmer. <laughs> it's probably a variac inside. And this is maybe this is the output voltage. As you turn the knob, this, this is probably the output voltage. Now, it, it also came with cables. They, they supplied me with cables. So let's, uh, let's uh, see what those have in store for us. Uh, all right. Uh, I say this is the goes in the cable. It's just a normal, uh, normal cable. And these are the goes out the cables. Yeah. So yeah, these are kind of strange. Um, so they have, uh, they have this weird, oh, wait a minute. No, this is just another goes in the cable. Okay. I got two goes in the cables and this is the, these are the two goes out the cables. Uh, let's see here. Wire. There we go. All right. So these are the goes out to wires. It's got this weird male shrouded connector and then a normal uh, cable here. So this will be the, these will be the goes out to um, One of these might be through and one of these might be very uh, We'll have to open it up to see inside to see if that's true. Uh, should we do what Dave says, uh, or should we do what MSI guy says? Let's just turn it on. <laughs> let's turn it on. And then we'll take it apart. Yeah, let's turn it on. Uh, this cable is too short. Let me find another one. Okay, we have power. Let's push the button and we get a number 30, 70, 80. That's interesting. What if we turn the knob? Does it go up? It does. 125. Let's turn it up all the way. 133. Let's turn it down all the way and it goes out. So it's supplying its own power. So it, you have to have a certain amount of voltage on it for it to do something. All right. That seems pretty good. So uh, let's see if we can't uh, can't measure the output voltage on one of these things. Uh, let's see, what's a good way to measure? What's a good way to measure this? Do I have something that's already made for that? Nope, we'll just have to jam some, uh, jam some probes in there and see what it does. So here are some probes. Let me take off the little things here. All right, so let's jam these in here. And this says 132, and that says 132. Very nice. I can adjust this for exactly 100 volts. Yeah, kind of touchy. Yeah, pretty close. There we go. 99.9. And what does it say? Yeah, 100 volts. All right, so that's pretty accurate. That's pretty nice. Let's uh, move it over here to the other uh, the other connector. And uh, it is also, oops, it's also 100 volts. So they are in parallel with one another. So yeah, it's a variac inside. So let's talk about variacs. We'll open it up first and then we'll uh, talk about variacs because they're kind of 
interesting and they a lot of people are confused by what what they are and what they aren't all right so these are ridiculous tiny little screws to hold the back on uh, but look inside yep there we go uh, as expected Variac and everything's wired in here. And it's one of those modules. Let's see, switch. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that's a bit unexpected is there's a big piece of sheet metal in here to mount this thing on. Uh, they figure the uh, cheesy plastic box wasn't uh, wasn't heavy duty enough for what's going on here. So this, let's see if we can get. This is a Statco. Statco Incorporated, Dayton, Ohio. Shout out if you're from Dayton. Um, let's see, the input terminals was 0 to 100 volt, 20 volts input. Output is 0 to 132. So yeah, so you can go a little bit over. You can boost it from 120 to 132. Uh, this is good for two and a half amps. Um, all right, so what, what, what is this thing? Um, uh, it is a transformer, so there's a certain number of windings on the input, certain number of windings on the output, and uh, there's a wiper on it so you can choose where you're going. So let's, uh, okay, let's talk about transformers. A transformer is you have one set of windings and then you have another set of windings, and there's usually a metal core um, could be ferrite, could be steel, could be iron, whatever. Um, and so a certain number of volts go in here, a certain number of volts come out here. This is AC. And depending on the ratio of the wires, then it tells you how much goes in and how much goes out. Okay. Well, a um, Variac is a pretty strange device. Okay, I'm going to have these windings. And this is our input. Okay. And then we have the steel steel in here, okay? But we are going to use wipers. Okay. So this is out. So we are going to do double duty with the coils. The coil is going to come in, but we're going to use that same coil as the output. Okay. So uh, this slides up and down. It picks off which 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 winding you've got. So you can have this many windings in and this many windings out. All right, and then if you continue this up a little ways, then this slider can go all the way up. Okay, and that's when we can go up to here to 120 volts, which is the input. But then we can go a little bit farther, and we get the 132. Um, but it's using the same windings, both as the input and the output, okay? So you can see that using a Variac on your bench is a very unsafe thing because there's no safety between the two. You hear about an isolation transformer. An isolation transformer is when they're completely separate and there's no way for electricity to get from one side to the other. A Variac, though, is wired up this way and it's very, very unsafe. Um, it's just like having it plugged into the wall. So don't think that, oh, I've got it plugged into a Variac and I can bring up the voltage slowly, that you're doing yourself any good. You might be doing the radio good, but you're not you're doing yourself any good because you still have all of this non-safe AC voltage going to the other side. So, um, and my setup at my bench, um, I have a Variac and then the output of the Variac uh, goes into a isolation transformer where everything is completely separate. So that's the way my bench is set up. Um, so if I'm gonna be testing something, first it goes through the Variac, and then it goes through the isolation transformer. And um, this, is where I, this is where I hook up the, the thing I'm gonna test is over on this side. I have this great isolation right here. So anyway, there you go. All right, so uh, yeah, you can sort of see the, the wiper here, and here's exposed, exposed, uh, the uh, copper uh, is exposed here, so you can you can uh, make contact here, 
and this is one of the output right here this is where the output wire comes right off of that wiper and that goes over here to the uh, uh, to the out the output of the thing right and then the uh, other side of the output uh, you can see goes directly to the uh, the input as well so this white wire goes straight through the device and then the black wire uh, goes into the uh, into the machine here anyway uh, it does have a ground wire that goes through so also the ground wire is not isolated you have a, a direct ground from input to output that can be either a safe thing or a not safe thing as well so you really have to pay attention to this when you're on your bench all right and the uh, display here is uh, tucked up in the corner up there it's kind of hard to see but it uh, it is over there and it has a couple wires for the power and where it's going to be measuring and those are connected directly to this socket right here so it's being powered up and measuring the voltage of this connector right here all right there you go our mystery black box has been solved <laughs>